Do you love marshmallows but wish they were better? Kind of sad and cardboardy, huh? Not cool. Homemade marshmallows, super easy, and look at this. They're melt in your mouth, sweet vanilla clouds that you're gonna love. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These homemade marshmallows will be ready in a snap, so let's get started. First off, prep a square or rectangular dish. This is an eight by eight inch, and it doesn't have to be oven safe because you're not baking anything. Brush your dish with veggie oil. These marshmallows are delicious, but really sticky when wet, so you have to prep your dish really well. Dust with powdered sugar, get really good coverage. And just like that, we can set this aside and get a stand mixer out. Into the bowl of my stand mixer, fitted with a whisk attachment, I'm adding half a cup of water, nice and cool, and two packets of gelatin. Sprinkle that gelatin in and just set it aside to bloom. In the meantime, we're gonna be warming up some sugar and corn syrup. Into a small pot, I'm adding half a cup of water, one and a half cups of sugar, and one cup of light corn syrup. This is the magic ingredient that gets you that wonderful homemade marshmallow consistency. In you go. Give this a little bit of a stir to get it started and then we're gonna place it over medium heat until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go. You can give it a stir just until the sugar is dissolved, but after it's dissolved, leave it alone. It'll bubble away and heat up. I'm using a candy thermometer to tell when this is exactly 240 degrees, but if you don't have one at home, you can use a cold glass of water. Take a little droplet of the hot sugar syrup, pour it in. If it forms a soft ball of sugar, it's ready. If it dissolves, it's not ready. And if it forms a hard ball, it's too hot. My sugar reached 240, the gelatin's bloomed, so it's time to pour this in while mixing on low. Mix on low and pour it in slowly. It's very hot. Gradually increase your mixer speed to high and just let it go. You're gonna see it form a glossy, super thick marshmallow. After a few minutes, you're gonna see, this is almost there, but not quite. My marshmallow is thick, super glossy, and look at this. That is quite a trail left, so it's ready. We're gonna add two teaspoons of a nice vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of salt for a bit of contrast. In you go. Uh, it smells amazing already. Okay, my vanilla and salt are mixed in, so it's time to transfer this to our prepared dish. This is the fun part, and it does get a little messy. Use a spatula to get all that marshmallow into your baking dish. Okay, now spread it out to the edge. You just wanna smooth the top a bit. You can use a spatula, or you could use your clean, damp hands. You have to dampen them. Right now, this is spreading out nicely, though. That's good, this is setting up quickly, but you have to leave this alone for at least four hours or until the top isn't tacky. So set it aside and we'll be right back. Here, you want some more powdered sugar. So generously powder your cutting surface. These guys are sticky, but it's worth it. It's time to get that marshmallow out and chances are you'll be using a spatula to do a little bit of prying. There we go. Look at that, your marshmallow is still that. <laughs> The marshmallow's out, it's still sticky though, so let's powder sugar it all over, including the sides. All right, I forgot to mention, you're gonna wanna powder sugar your hands too, so everything has to be sugared up, otherwise it'll stick. All right, now use a sharp knife and just do cuts. Don't fiddle about with it, just go straight through. So one, and after each cut, you're going to sugar your knife. Now you can just continue cutting, and as you cut, a little bit of powdered sugar on the edge as well. Continue that process until you've cut pieces that you want. They could be really big, really small, it's totally up to you. This will make the best homemade s'mores ever, in case you're wondering. My marshmallows are ready to enjoy, and before I take a bite, if you like this recipe, check out my s'mores cookie video, the best s'mores cookies you could ever imagine. But now, it's time for a bite. That is intoxicatingly delicious, and it is like a sugar cloud. It's like a cloud made of sugar with vanilla. Ah, 
I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. If you like my videos, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next s'mores video.